Please wake up. Talk. He's what you're saying is totally unintelligible and he can't understand you. And we called him, so that means it's a waste of his time. So let's get him a good enough here, right? What do you know what I mean? Do I know what you mean? About why he called it a day? Yeah, I know what you mean. Everybody was for Sid. I mean, Sid was like, I don't know if he saw any of the gigs, but Sid was like really shining out. And John was being like nothing. You know, he just wasn't giving it anymore. He just wasn't, and he wasn't shaping up. He was looking awful. The way he was dressing, the way he looked, looked horrible. He, he wouldn't listen to anybody. And, like, you know, I mean, it, Sid tried to talk to him time and time and time again. Should we kiss for you? We'll go to sleep later on. What are you looking for? Okay. Um, it's all right. I, I'm the only the only two people that I can think of I would like to play with. Um, you know, it's been with. Sid, he's not interviewing me. Please try and wake up. Do you want me to make you a cup of coffee? Yeah, could you? Yes, I'll make you a cup of coffee. But will you try and fucking wake up, no, please? Okay. Because we, we gave him an interview. Oh, okay. and we gave him a okay. good interview. Alright? You, like, you're not talking intelligibly. You're falling asleep on your sunglasses. Wake the fuck up. He's been very ill, you know, it's hard for him to talk. I'm trying to get him to wake up and talk to you. Yeah, I've been making him rest since he's back feeding him good food. Can you wake up, please? Yeah, okay, I'll wait for it. Right, I want the next question. You ain't gonna drop that. Take it from me. Yeah. He's just fucked up. I mean, he's been sick for three months that he's been on the road. The whole time. I mean, look at that poster up there. He's yellow on that poster. You can see it, can't you? Why what, what, what are you... Yeah, you put the cigarette on the bed. What'd you say? I think it's fun. Do you want your ears blowing out some more? And look, I, I told him, I said, watch. You watch. The first thing he's going to say is, what am I doing here, right? And the band had so many problems at the moment. I'm like, that's the first thing he said. You just have to bear with us. I hope you're not really mad. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I don't have anything on under it. An interview with Sid and Nancy. Yeah. Sid and Nancy at home. Please, we're not going to be left. I've been with it ever since the first day I ever got to England. And we're partners in crime. And we have good fun. And we help each other out. You know? Okay, far away, next question. Oh, I could see would have died oh, to 15 deaths if I hadn't been around. Because that's just, you know, the way he is. 
I mean, he's not, this is what he does when he's not with me. It's shit when people say that he can't fly because he can't. He learned all the pistol songs in two weeks. I mean, it just made him want to work all the more. And you want to write a poem about him? Yeah. Give us a hundred pounds. We made one for Sex Pistols number three in Huntersfield. Yes. Well, I'll start off with Yeah. Yeah. It was quite fun on, on a dirty floor with the never mind the bollocks poster under us. It was great with one of those. What were you doing? Screwing. Bucking oh, no. and big dawn that stuff missing. Still looking my feet. Oh no, Sid. Not even on the scene either. Despite all the hassles, what was it that you thought the pistol were trying to do? I mean, was it just like re kick the establishment out of the arse? I'm just so tired and warm now. on me, spilled coffee on me, spilled orange juice on me. Oh, what was the next question? What was that question again? Don't drop it on me again. Second again. What was the question?